<laughs> I don't think it's gonna work. No, I don't know, man. Let's see. <laughs> Oh, it's looking pretty good so far. It was actually really good. Hello and welcome to the release vlog. Let's have a look at what happened in Raycast last month. Oh, that's an internal feature. It's not available yet. <laughs> we had some nice updates to Quick Links. In Quick Links, there was a syntax kind of similar to dynamic placeholders, but that was restricted to arguments only. So you can look at the quick links that you have, and when you create one here, if you press the curly bracket to add the dynamic placeholders, you will see the different placeholders that are available. Uh, I have, for example, that one, which lets you search for Raycast tweets, for example. So you have two arguments here. Uh, one to add the actual query, so dynamic placeholders, for example. And there's another argument where you can pick the handle that you want to look for. Uh, so in this case, Raycast, for example. Oh, that's an internal feature. It's not available yet. <laughs> uh, that's something I added only last Friday, um, where you can specify a title and a value for each option. Um, at the moment, in the public release, you can only specify the value. If you go to the form where you can create or edit placeholders, there's a learn more here. And inside there, there's a dynamic placeholder page. And inside you have all the different placeholders. Hello. How you doing? <laughs> I met back up with Roy to chat about one of our most requested features. We wanted to take a bit of a step back, like what does it mean, attachments? Like what else can we do that kind of sets us apart a little bit as Raycast? And one of those are the, what we call native uh, attachments. Uh, the schedule, for example, or uh, bringing in stuff from your clipboard, um, as well as the browser tab, since that's what we offer with our browser extension. But you can imagine there's a potentially a bit more within the Raycast ecosystem that we can bring in. So, uh, you know, we have a Notion extension, we have a linear extension, we have lots of different extensions that all provide a certain type of output or data or um, a way to input data actually as well. Those in a way could also start offering uh, context for the AI. We try to, as we always do, feel as, as native as possible. So we are supporting like drag and drop on the uh, chat window. You can also just have a selection, for example, in Finder and uh, use that. So selected file is something you can add. We generally support different ways of getting to the same outcome. Everyone personally would sometimes like start off with a file and sometimes you just want to be in your current chat and bring the file in. If you have a selection in Finder, for example, or anywhere else, it also works with projects uh, or, or selected files in the, um, uh, in other apps. So if I'm on the Wikipedia page of Raycast, then, you know, I have to send selection to AI chat, which I have linked to HyperKey I for quick access. And this is just one way of like, you go from selection and bring it into chat, um, or she could also be inside a chat and want to bring in some uh, some text selection. We have this integration where you have this little Raycast icon here to send it to a Raycast AI, uh, as well as from the floating thingy, you also have a send to Raycast AI chat. So you can take a screenshot, maybe annotate it, then hit command R from this thing to basically pull it in. And yeah, that's, that's a pretty quick way to deal with it too. And in the video we did to announce attachments, Pedro shared that we didn't really know what to do with Vision. What do you want to use it for? So we asked for your comments and we got a bunch of examples. I don't know how you feel about it, but we got way more than I expected. I always include text alternatives to my images that I post online and adding an image from my clipboard and sending it to an AI preset with the best practices for all texts would save me a lot of time. What do you say about that? I thought it was pretty clever. That's true, actually. You know, uh, having worked in the accessibility space for a long time, I'm definitely aware of how many images lack the old description in general. If you have an image, you're not sure how to add it as an old tag and Vision can help you with it, then that's great. I've not tried that, but I'm curious to give it a go. Okay, so he's uh, Zachary is a front-end developer and he gives 
AI chat screenshots of a UI he was building and asked it for feedback on it. I would have to see that in real life, I think. I'm slightly skeptical. Maybe I'm just too old school for some things. What's cool about this comment is it's not asking for code. It's more asking for like feedback, maybe insight. That's true. If you can use that as say your rubber duck, they can bounce ideas back and forth or just something that you can talk to. There you go. I used to have one, but I don't have it anymore. I uh, have two. That could be cool. <laughs> oh, bring me one. <laughs> but wait, before you read that comment, what? let me ask you a quick question. All right. How come you haven't assigned a hotkey to your search screenshots command yet? I'm getting <laughs> tired. I'm just watching you. <laughs> I will do that now, but um, because I, I just don't use it. Maybe a good use case for vision, and we could even test it out, is to add all of these screenshots into an AI chat and ask it to give you a list of the questions, maybe. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work. No, I don't know, man. Let's see. Okay. Oh, it's looking pretty good it, so far. It was actually really good. I mean, even if it's not super accurate, like that's, that's really useful. That, I see, like now I'm like, this is cool. You know, when there's like a lot of stuff that you need to parse and you can use AI to do some of that heavy lifting for you. That's when I feel like, okay, I want to use that. You know, I need to save time. This one is one of my favorite ones. It's here. Um, I often prefer to share screenshots with AI instead of plain text or code, just because it's easier with shortcuts. I think that if it, if you're getting good results, if if Vision is parsing your text well, then that's true. I can see that. I ask AI for a breakdown of a function or a capability of the software. I attach a small screenshot of some of the data I'm working with and ask AI to come up with an example of how to use the function in the context of my data. I agree with that one. And I think this uh, this one is like a specifically a, a use case where text wouldn't work. You're not asking to read the screen or like to work with actual data. You're more like giving it a context of the thing. That sounds great, actually. You know, if you can figure out your Excel spreadsheet and give you the formula that you want, that's great. Like I often have uh, some troubles getting the right formula in Excel. I use spreadsheet quite a bit, like Google Sheets, but you know, same thing. It's not a syntax I'm used to, you know, like being able to do that and get the formula that you want based on the right column that you want and the row and stuff, or maybe the range, then that's actually very good. I like that. I'm glad to see people engaging and telling us how they use it. Vision is not just new in Raycast, it's new for everybody. It's kind of a new way of working almost, right? So I can only see it getting more and more powerful. And obviously as it does, it's gonna get more and more powerful in Raycast. Excited to see how this new way of working uh, will shape in the future. So what do you wanna see us build next? Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates and see you in the next one.